guys. So I'm just getting back from work. And I actually swung by Safeway and picked up a few groceries. I didn't get too much because Safeway is expensive and I didn't have my rolling cart with me. So it would be really hard to carry a bunch of crap. So I'm just, I just grabbed a few things to tide me over until the weekend and then I'll go to Superstore and get actual groceries. But yeah. So I also stopped by the one post office. The one I told you is more convenient for me to get to because it's on my way to and from work. I asked if they had any P.O. boxes and they didn't have any available, but they were like, oh, do you want to get put on our waiting list? And I thought, okay, I guess I'll go on the waiting list. And she pulls out her notebook and all the names are crossed off except for one. So I was like, there's only one person ahead of me on the list? And the lady said, no, these people already have P.O. boxes. You're next, if you're next in line to get one. And I was just like, ah, so I can get a P.O. box hopefully soon. I mean, <laughs> depends when the next person cancels their P.O. box. So it could be like a month, it could be a few months, I don't know. So they give me a call when there's one available, so that's cool. Uh, the thing is, it's pretty expensive, more expensive than I thought it was going to be. For six months, it's $100. Yeah. So that's why, that's kind of why I wanted to wait to get a P.O. box until I had like more viewers because then I know I would get more stuff and it would make it more worth the while and I could make more mail videos or something, but I'm getting hot with this jacket. But uh, I could also get one for one year for $150, so that's $50 savings. Okay, I can't do this with one arm. <laughs> but um, I just don't know where I'm going to be living six months from now. Well, seven months from now, once my lease is up with this apartment, like I said, I'm going to be moving probably someplace bigger. But I figured that no matter where I live, that's a very accessible location. It's where two SkyTrain tracks cross. It's probably a location I'll be at a lot no matter where I live. So I might go for the one year. We'll see when, how much money I have when they uh, contact me. <laughs> so yeah. Good chances I'll get a P.O. box, so just a heads up. Oh, and if I do mail videos, they're going to be on the vlog channel as part of the vlogs. Like, maybe I'll have a day dedicated to opening stuff, or maybe I'll just open, like, you know, maybe I'll have a couple days where I'll just open a couple things at a time, but I don't know. I'm, they're going to be on my vlog channel, though, not on my art channel. So I will announce the P.O. box on the art channel when I get one, but I'll be saying, like, I'm going to be opening this stuff on the vlog channel, so that's where you need to go if you want to see what I'm opening up. I remember someone once requesting that I do a grocery haul, so I'm going to do one even though this is not my typical... Oh, my phone. This is not the typical stuff I would buy every week. This is just a few things I picked up until I can get more stuff on the weekend and get a bunch of veggies and stuff. So I've got milk because I desperately need milk. That's my main reason for going to the store. And I also got some waffles. They're the cinnamon kind because those are the best. Then I got this kind of frozen veggie thing. It's got noodles in it too. It was on sale, so I was like, cool, I'll grab it. And pasta sauce because I have spaghetti noodles, but I have no kind of sauce whatsoever. And so got some sauce. And last but not least, I got some eggs because I could do like egg in a hole. I can do egg sandwiches. Just yeah, eggs. <laughs> so that's the only stuff I got, but that'll tide me over till the weekend. I know it's supper time, but I really, really want the waffles right now. <laughs> they just look so delicious. Oh, and you know how you guys were suggesting I freeze my bananas for smoothies? Well, my bananas were starting to rot, so I had no choice but to freeze them. So there you go. <laughs> I also saw that you can make ice cream out of frozen bananas, like a healthy ice cream. And I'm going to look up a recipe and see if I can make it because that sounds delicious. I'm an adult and I do what I want. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash. At night. We may not have the Spongebob joke of the day, but I will still throw in a lot of Spongebob quotes. Be clean in here. I know you guys didn't see the before, but that's because I did not want you to see the before. It was disgusting. And it's all clean now and I'm feeling very productive, which is very good because I still haven't folded that laundry. It's been sitting for like three days. And I need to clean my bathroom because the people are coming to replace my toilet tomorrow. So it needs to be all clean. Yeah. So tomorrow people are coming to replace my toilet for a more water saving one. And uh, I left them a little message since I won't be here. This looks like your typical to-do list. Thursday, go to work whilst toilet murderers invade. Oh, poor toilet. And then you go in the bathroom. And it says, 
rip Sir Toilington, and underneath, we barely knew ye. So I hope they don't think that's too annoying. I think it's silly. Hopefully it'll brighten their day. By the way, thanks to BD for suggesting I just write directly on the toilet, because what I was initially going to do was write on a piece of paper and cut it out to be the shape of a tombstone, but drawing one on the tank was a much better idea. Ugh, I fell asleep while folding laundry. I was Skyping with my sister, and I was kind of like, leaned forward on the table and passed out. <laughs> After I fell asleep, my sister ended the call, and then she typed in the chat area on Skype, phone me back when you're done being a banana. <laughs> I guess I'm just really tired. <laughs> so I've been on Instagram for like a day and I already have 198 followers. Like that is nuts. I didn't realize so many of you used Instagram. Like obviously I know there's more than 200 people, but like to have that amount already is crazy. So thank you guys so much. I'll be sure to post more things even though I didn't post today. Well, that's it for tonight, guys. I was mostly just kind of cleaning and talking with my sister, but I will see you guys tomorrow. It's time for my magical girl transformation. See you on the flip side. Ta-da! I am now ready for work, and I probably won't have time for breakfast, and I don't have any milk for cereal anyway, so I'm thinking I'm going to order this egg breakfast that they have at the cafeteria in the building. It's $6.00.